Here's the field for the tenth. One is the Beastmeister, owned by Jerry Guayardo, also owned, trained, and driven by provisional driver James Guayardo. Two is Mow'em Down, owned by Charles Cassell, also owned, trained, and driven by provisional driver Nick Cassell. Three is Spicy Hall, owned by Robert O'Neill, also owned, trained, and driven by Troy Thomas. Four is N. Wong, owned by trainer William Smith, driven by Rick Keebler. Five, Fast and Furious, owned by Rita Police, trained by Don Ratchford, driven by Rich Wosio. Six, King of War, debuting for Mark Kennedy, debuting for trainer Earl Kennedy, driven by provisional driver James Kennedy. Seven, Kisan's Maxima, owned by Two Infinity Stable, driven by trainer Quentin Schneider. Completing the field is eight, Close Up, owned by Lori Ferris, trained by Quentin Schneider, Scott Sisko in the bike. Nine, Charlotte's Trick, and ten, Direct Jam Boy are out. Exactus tries and ten cent and dollars super effective wagering. You have three minutes. Eighth of a mile to the start. Here they come. And they're off. That's N. Wong going for the lead. Close up on the far outside, fired out. Along the inside, the Beastmeister. They race into the first turn, and close up is three wide and winging up for the lead. N. Wong between horses has been looped out of the gate along the inside, the Beastmeister, as they head to the first quarter. And from the outside, close up has the lead along the inside in second, the Beastmeister. N. Wong is parked in third along the inside, Moam Down is fourth. First quarter, just 27 and 2. Racing in fifth is Spicy Hall. It's a five-length gap to six where it's Fast and Furious, which the pace currently is. Two and a half lengths to King of War in seventh, and Kisan's Maxima is the trailer. They pace three-eighths of a mile, and the leader is close up. The advantage is a length. N. Wong is parked in second. The Beastmeister's on the inside in third. Up on the outside, Fast and Furious moves up in fourth. Moam Downs on the inside in fifth. King of War third over in sixth. Shuffled seven, Spicy Hall. Fourth over, Kisan's Maxima. The half, 57 and four. 30 and two for the second quarter. Into the final turn they go. The leader is close up by a length. And Scott Sisko just popped his earplugs and he's asking for more. He hasn't received it yet. Moving three deep is Fast and Furious along the inside. The Beastmeister in between horses. A tired N. Wong. Three wide into contention is King of War. From the outside, Fast and Furious takes the lead. Along the inside, it's close up. Three deep is King of War in between horses. The Beastmeister, three quarters, 128 and three, 30 and four for the third quarter. And Fast and Furious has the lead by two. Up on the outside, King of War takes over second. Angling three deep is the Beastmeister. Close up after that 27 and two first quarter is cooked. Mid stretch, that's King of War taking the lead. Fast and Furious along the inside, followed by the Beastmeister and mow him down. That's King of War in front. Fast and Furious second, the Beastmeister was third, Moam down at 25 to 1 was fourth, and 157 and 3. Here's the rundown. One, the Beastmeister third, two, Moam down fourth, three, Spicy Hall sixth, four, N. Wong eighth, five, Fast and Furious second, six, King of War the winner, seven, Kisan's Maxima fifth, eight, Close Up seventh, nine, Charlotte's Trick, and ten, Direct Jam Boy were both scratched. Recapping the tenth, three, four, six, eight, two, one, five, seven, scratch, scratch on the bottom. Returning to the winner's circle with a successful debut for this stable is six King of War, claimed in his last by Mark Kennedy of Sacramento, trained by Earl Kennedy, driven by James Kennedy.
King of War winner in 157-3, and, and that's a seasonal best as he debuts for this stable with a victory. Bell Cal in a moment. 11th and final race coming up. No changes. Exacta trifecta and 10 cent and dollar superfecta wagering. Post time is in.